okay so too many people are putting their money on crypto so it made me wonder on what is cryptocurrency all about and how it works so i searched on the internet and i found out that one of the articles said that it would be the money of the future while the other it just said that it is a threat to the government so the question is why and if it is then what would possibly happen to our existing currencies so in this video we will explore on what is cryptocurrency and how would it affect us in the future so what is exactly cryptocurrency so cryptocurrency is defined as a digital payment system that does not require banks to validate transactions so it is fully decentralized with no single entity in charge in fact it's merely a peer-to-peer -peer system that allows anyone to make and receive payments as long as they have the access on the internet so to understand it fully let's take a look on the evolution of currency so first we have the commodity money so in the earliest period of human development any goods that was widely wanted and chosen by the general public was used as money. So as a result, commodities like rice, salt, wheat, weapons, and utensils were being used as exchange or currency. So such exchange of goods for goods was also known as barter exchange. So second is the metallic money, which was created as human civilization progress. So as a result, metals like copper, gold, and silver were utilized as they could be easily handled and their quantity can simply be determined. However, as time passed, it became increasingly dangerous to transport gold and silver coinage from one location to another. That's why paper money was created. So the invention of paper money marked a very crucial stage in the development of money. In fact, paper money is regulated and controlled by the nation's distinct central bank. So fourth is the credit money. So the emergence of credit money almost took place simultaneously together with that of paper money. So when we talk about credit money, it is a monetary value established as a result of an upcoming obligation or claim. So, credit money is created as a result of credit extension or debt issue ones. So, there are many forms of credit money such as checks, IOUs, bonds, and money markets. So, the fifth and the latest type of money is the plastic money in the form of debit cards and credit cards. So, they seek to eliminate the necessity for people to carry currency when conducting transactions. And finally, we have cryptocurrency. So the concept of cryptocurrency is almost the same together with plastic cards as it omitted the carrying of cash to make transactions. Moreover, payments made using cryptocurrencies are only digital records in an online database that track individual transactions. So here's what would happen. When you transfer cryptocurrency funds, the transactions are recorded in a public ledger. Say for example, if you wanted to buy a certain amount of Bitcoin, you can choose in whatever platform available such as Binance or Coins.ph. So those value then will be stored in your personal digital wallet. So in essence, the word cryptocurrency comes from the fact that it utilizes authentication to make transactions. So this indicates that complex coding is used to store and transfer cryptocurrency data between wallets and public ledgers. So what is the main goal of the encryption? Well, that is to provide maximum security and safety. So in addition, cryptocurrencies run on a distributed public ledger called a blockchain. Wait, what is the use of the blockchain by the way? A blockchain is a computer database that holds information in an electronic manner. In addition, the blockchain serves as a record of every currency holder's updated and retained transactions. So it means 
that if you put your money on crypto, you are now a cryptocurrency holder and you are now part of the blockchain technology. So the question is, what would happen if you own a certain amount of cryptocurrency such as Bitcoin? So if you own Bitcoin, you don't own anything tangible. It means that you cannot touch it. So what you possess is just a key that lets you to transmit a record or a unit of measure from one person to another without the use of a trusted third party. This is because it is decentralized, that's why no one can ever dictate its price, not even the US government. So, to the question on what would happen to the existing currencies, on my opinion, government would adopt this digital money and make their equivalent currency. And yes, it actually happens right now. In fact, we have US dollar representation on digital assets in the form of USDT and BUSD. Is it really a threat to the government? Yes, some sort of. A cryptocurrency cannot be administered and governed. It just solely depends on the precise valuation of the market and it can never be manipulated. That's why it is highly volatile. So in comparison with our existing money, we all know that there is an intervention coming from the government as they needed to balance the economy. So what is the good thing about cryptocurrency? So the good thing about cryptocurrency is that it promotes transparency, precise valuation, and you know what? Theoretically, it cannot be hacked due to its cryptographic functions. That's all. Thank you and have a good day. So if you like this video and wanted to suggest a certain topic in relation with crypto, just hit the like button and comment down the topic that you wanted to know. Rest assured, I will be doing my best in answering those questions. Also, I wanted to put an emphasis that this is a project crypto. It means that if you have the knowledge in relation with crypto and wanted to share a certain video, then please don't hesitate to inbox me as I believe that the more shares on crypto would help the world better understand on what it is all about. Thank you and peace.